Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This short video is from chapter number 13, Magnetically Coupled Circuits. And here we'll primarily solve practice problem 13.1. So let's see, the question says, determine the voltage V0. But this is the voltage V0 across 10 ohm resistance. Uh, and to determine this voltage, we have to find the current I2. So let's see how to proceed. First of all, to cater for the uh, induced voltages, mutually induced voltages, we draw two boxes as I have explained in uh, my previous video. So these two boxes I will take care for the mutually induced voltage. This one for current I1 and this one for current I2. So let's write their values. So the value for this one will be mutual uh, inductance Mj1 multiplied by current I1. So it is J1 multiplied by current I1. And similarly, this one will be J1 multiplied by current I2. So after having done this, we need to mark their polarity. And we know the technique that when the current enters a dotted terminal, the other dotted side will be positive. Now here current I1 is entering the dotted terminal. So that means here or the bottom side of this will be positive. So the bottom side of the induced voltage will be positive. And similarly, in this case current entering, also entering the dotted terminal, so dotted end that is the top end will be positive so here the top end is marked as positive so having done this we should also mark the polarities of the other terminals or other elements and so we, we know wherever current touches that becomes positive so this is positive similarly this one is positive and in this circuit current i2 is touching here first so it will be positive and here it will be positive. So now we are ready to write the KVL equation. Okay, so for mesh one, we can start from any corner. So I prefer to start from left corner. So we'll go like this. So it will be minus 245. So minus 200 angle 45. Then 4 I1, J8 I1, and plus j1 i2 so this is our first equation of mass one we can rearrange this so having rearranged uh, this is our first equation now we go to mass number two and from mass two again we can go like this so it is plus j1 i1 plus j5 i2 and plus j uh, plus 10 i2 we arrange this one as well. So this is our arranged equation. So this is equation number two. So we have now two equations and two variables we, uh, we can find from here. So these are the two equations. Now there are several methods you can do. Uh, one slightly difficult is you find the value of I1 from here and put it in this equation or you, uh, uh, and then solve. But the easiest way is to go or write the matrix equation. So we'll write that. So this is the matrix equation, this component here, this component here, and similarly these two components. And then the unknowns, I1 and I2, and then the constants. <coughs> so we were here, we had the uh, matrix equation. And from here, we are only interested to find I2, this current. So I2 will write as delta 2 over delta. And I hope you recall what is delta. This whole thing is the delta uh, determinant. And delta for delta 2, we replace the second column with the voltage, output voltage. So uh, our equation will now look like this. This is delta 2, this is replaced, uh, this one. And now we'll just try to simplify. This multiplies zero, multiplying this, we get the numerator term. And similarly, multiply these two, 
we get the denominator denominator term and just uh, here you know it will be minus j1 into j1 and j1 into j1 will be minus j1 minus minus plus so that is why it will be minus 1 actually and now we can uh, put this directly into our calculator in complex mode and so we get the answer in one step it is 1.999 angle minus 135 which can be written as 2 uh, minus 135 so this we have got i2 and now we can find the output voltage v naught is 10 times i2 and so the answer is 20 angle minus 135 degrees volts okay another way of solving the same thing is that you solve them separately that is delta 2 and solving this we get 200 angle 45 and delta 1 you can uh, solving step by step uh, this value comes to be 100 angle 89.42 and so i2 will be delta 2 over delta putting in the values uh, so this will be 2 minus 134.42 uh, something will be just approximate it to be minus 135 degrees and so v2 is 10 times i2 so it is 20 angle minus 135 degree so i hope this gives you an understanding how you can solve this question easily if you like please share it thank you